this is Uncle Mama's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about three reactions and I will let you know on these two particular artists as I'm going along. So this third reaction we're going over to Ukraine and um, this particular artist and I've got it down here so I don't get it wrong is Ivanka um, Ivanka Chervinska and is collaborating with um, Gypsy Leia I believe the track is called What Are You um, and that's all I know that is all I know recommended to me by Vladimir so good thank, thank you very much for, um, for that Vladimir and good morning I know we have still got loads more Ukrainian artists to go through and it is very very near I think in about say next week it's going to be kind of like a one day I, a, I'll dedicate one day to Ukraine because there's so many artists that I have discovered and found and it's just overwhelming it really is and I hope you guys support these particular artists who are not um, established you know they might have the maximum of about say 400 or 500 views and maybe a couple of thousand um, subscribers and I really really hope that you support these particular artists fantastic artists that's coming over for that's coming from Ukraine and they're not even new artists it's just artists that I've um, discovered so they're not that new, they're, just, uh, they're established artists, it's just that they have low subscribers and the, I'm, my mouth drops, it really does, it really drops on the superb amount of um, talent that's coming over from Ukraine, as well as other countries as well. But um, yeah, so that's going to be my uh, third reaction. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on. And I've broken it down uh, in various categories for you to so help you along. So it's just easy to watch you go into the homepage. It's, easy for you. it's just pleasantly pleasing to the eye. You know, some uh, home pages, it's just sporadic, it's just everywhere and everywhere. I like to categorise things. So once you go into the home page, these music are categorised. And remember, once you go into each of the individual categories, these are artists from around the world, both established and non-established artists. Now, I'm going to read a couple of your shout-outs. I'm going to read a couple of your messages, give a number of shout-outs, then we go straight into um, my next reaction. Uh, Davesh Shama, good morning, how you doing? Nenshek Kamash. Good morning. Status Mana SK. Good morning. How you doing? Vicky Belgardi. Good morning. How you doing? Uh, Chandra um, Shipavari. Good morning. Um, Am Dayas. Good morning. Uh, Shuka Kenneth. Good morning. How you doing? Wati. Uh, good morning. How you doing, Wati? How you doing? Uh, episode update. Who puts their titles and name like that? I don't know. Uh, music World. I like that Music World. That's a nice title. Uh, Mazayab. Good morning. Life is beautiful. What a amazing title to have. I don't know how you managed to get that. Um, please react to another Indian legendary song, um, singer Sunu Nigam. Um, he sang at a tribute to his friend's song named Abby. Um, oh, sorry, Abhai. Uh, Maju Ming Kanning, um, singer Soren Naman, please, 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 please. That's what literally she has put that down. Good morning to Musa, how you doing? Good morning to Nat Miriam, good morning, how are you? Good morning to Jeff, I hope you guys are all right. Good morning to Alexki, how are you doing? I had a number of Alexes and they all just just disappeared. I don't know where they've gone. Um, good morning to Maria Butts, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Anyway, look, we just go straight, go into straight. Um, go into straight. Let's go into my last reaction of today. Um, and I'm going to look down is Ivanka uh, Chervinska um, with Gypsy Leia. And the song is called What Are You? So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Got this folk vibe to it, hasn't it? I like it. I do, I like it. It's very funky. Or alternative music. I wasn't expecting it to be a, a folk music, but as you know, I love Ukrainian folk music. I love everything about it. I think it was 
um, Elena Pash that brought me to closer to what is um, Ukrainian folk music. Then Dahabaka as well, just absolutely smashed it and blew my mind apart. So. I'm hoping that I'm expecting on that flavour, but with a little twist of her own personal identity on it. I could be completely wrong on this whole thing. I um, hope not. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. Ooh, she's got a lovely voice. Are they the same people? Her voice is very... Do you know what? It, it, I can close my eyes and I think that is anybody from um, over the Western part, anybody from America, anybody from um, England. She's got that kind of texture, that vocal texture that so many um, indie female artists um, have in back in the in the nineties. Not so much now. They've kind of come across to this kind of a jazzy kind of vibe at the moment, which um, is okay. But you know, too many women are singing in that kind of style and not having their personal identity in there. So I really love that she, me personally, from all the Ukrainian female artists that I've had the pleasure of reacting to, she by far stands out um, doing her own thing. You know, not sounding like um, any of the Ukrainian artists that I have done reactions to. And it's funny because majority of the women that I've had the pleasure of carrying out reactions to uh, on the Ukrainian artists, they sound similar. That I can easily say, oh, she sounds similar too. Um, apart from Tina Carroll, there's no one that sounds um, like Tina Carroll. But certainly the rest of the female artists that I've had the pleasure of reacting to, they do sound similar to another artist in, in Ukraine that I can easily pick out. But this one... No, she stands on her own two feet. She really does, regarding her own t and vocal texture. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. See, I can't put no finger on anything of, of who she reminds me of. If anything, I'll say that she's got a slight same texture as NK. I love this almost kind of like a reggaeton vibe underneath it, but also giving you this kind of folk element to it as well. And remember, there's and what you see in there is a campfire, two people and a guitar. Even though you hear a little bit of a, a drum going in there, plus a slight percussion, um, I still love the, the the folk element that what they're, I hope, what they're doing, or is it just my brain thinking it's folk and it's not, it's just actually, it's actually it's alternative music. Um, I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. So it's just giving me this kind of reggae kind of... Maybe it's the... I don't know what it is. As you know, I haven't put the subtitles on, but I love... I'm going to go back and watch this again and definitely put the subtitles on as well. Um, I've been given two of her songs. So this is the first song that I've reacted to, and there is another song um, as well. Um, I know that she's um, very popular, but I didn't realise the, the impact that she would have on just having a kind of simplistic tone. Um, it's almost, you know what? Yeah. If any artist, I would say it will be Elena Pash. Not big, um, if Elena Pash done a kind of a ballad song, a slower song. Um, Elena Pash is full on traditional. Um, but her, she's just giving me, she's just gracing, skimming the surface of what is traditional um, element of um, uh, of the music. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that, it's just what I'm feeling, the vibe of. I'm getting reggaeton, I'm getting this lovely guitar element that's coming into it, and then I'm getting her smoothness, where she's not, she's very unpredictable in the tone choices and the melody that she's following. And so she's keeping me certainly on my toes. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. I 
love that. I love that bit. Dun, 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 dun. All right, okay, now do you hear the, um, I'm, I don't know if it's the white noise um, or the white cry that she's doing or tempted to do, but I'm getting that, f that form of that, um, that traditional um, yell, um, what uh, Ukrainians do, some Ukrainians do, you know, the likes of Deprika and so on. Um, that's what I'm getting, so that's what I'm seeing right now. Uh, even though it's in the background very, very low, I'm presuming that it's going to get louder and louder and louder. So let's go, I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. I love it when they do that. I thought you had to shine somewhere. So that's Gypsy Lure. Yeah? So have I got that right? His name is Gypsy Lure. Yeah? And it's a collaboration between terms. Because I thought that I was going to see um, two people singing. Um, but it's one person playing the instrument and another person singing. So that's cool. Normally you don't get the, um, the musician to have a title in, in, the, uh, in the video. It's uh, the person and whoever's, playing the music and whoever's playing the music. So I like the fact that the a musician is getting recognition. Um, I don't like the fact that he isn't singing. I'm sure he's a singer or, or who, who, the group that he's a part of. They, they do some element of singing. Or is she part of the group and this is not a collaboration? Let me know about this. I am absolutely fresh. I, 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 I really don't know. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. I would love to be by the camera just hearing her sing. So that was Ivanka, and I hope I'm saying her name right, E E E or Ivanka. It's got an idea, so I'm for Ivanka. Let me know about that. Uh, Chervinska and Gypsy Leah with What Are You? Like I said, I thought Gypsy Leah was going to sing at some point, or, or I don't know. I don't know why I've got that in my head. Normally, like I said, normally you don't necessarily um, give a the musician a title piece within the title. It's just a singer, and that's and and the title of the song. So it was, so it's obviously he's established artist. And so I want to go into YouTube and find out more about um, Gypsy Lea. I believe if I'm going to find any kind of folk traditional Ukrainian songs, then Gypsy Lea is the per place to, to go, you know, to investigate rather than um, Ivanka. Uh, is it um, Ivanka? Um, I have to go look down again. Um, I will look for, I mean, I have got another uh, song of hers too to react to, so I will be doing that in a couple of days' time. Um, but I, like I said, I, because I love the, the Ukrainian folk m music, and I love the white cry, and I love the way how they, the white noise, and I love the way how they put those together. It's just really, like I said, when the Habrika, when an Onika, the Habrika, um, Elena Pash, and there was another person in there as well. They come together and done that, uh, the, ad, the water advert. And that song had me on my toes. I love that song. I really, really do. It had everything in it. I love the, the flow of the, um, the way, the way how they created certain thing, mechanical structures to play notes when the river's going across. Love it. And this reminds me of that kind of feeling. Um, and I've been trying to, um, copy that feeling by looking at different kind of music and not getting that actual same match. So I'm believing that it's either going to be Gypsy Lea or, uh, or Ivanka that's going to give me what I need regarding that element as well. So I am looking forward to that. I really am looking forward to it. Excited um, to go forward and see if I'm going to be um, pleasantly surprised 
uh, in in what they the kind of music that they do, or I'm going to be like, oh no, it's another dead end, and go and trying to find another uh, um, artist that's going to give me that real folk music that I'm uh, that I'm um, addicted to, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I love what Gypsy Lair was doing. I love the whole feeling. It gave me this. There's this film called um, Sherlock Holmes, which was um, with. Um, uh, what's his name? I can't remember the, the guy's name now. I think Robert Downey Jr. Um, and the other person. But in the background of the music, it was kind of reminding me of, of this kind of thing. It was, um, for me, like, you know, the East End elements. But it was to very, very... I felt so much traditional values within, within this um, structure. I really did. And maybe it was the campfire. Camp, campfire. Maybe it was him having his hat. Uh, maybe it was him that's looking that kind of... Um, um, South Kapati kind of um, look, you know, that feel that mountain kind of elements. So maybe that was it. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing too much. Um, let me know because you guys are going to educate me right about now regarding uh, who these people are, who they are, or where they are, um, what songs they perform, and what songs are more importantly to check out. But for now, I salute you. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to go back and uh, watch it again, obviously put on the subtitles and get a proper feel from it, um, lyrical wise. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do.